Hey, what's up guys? Mike here with another video review. This time of uh, Alternator Smokescreen. Okay. Stop Motion Jr. Dude, I asked you. You never responded. I don't have Jazz. Jazz Meister. I don't have him. Um, see what happens when you don't respond? This is what you get. So this is your review. Sorry, buddy. Um, like I said before, my G1 Jazz is messed up. There's nothing left of them, so here you go. Alternator smoke screen. Okay, he's a um, he's a car. Uh, he's a blue car. I think he's a racing car. Uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> he's a Subaru. See that? It says Subaru right there. Um, I believe he was the first one, the first alternator. At least the first one I saw, anyway. Um, if you if you ever watch the X Games, I think this is a car Travis Pastrana drives, and those uh, rally races or whatever you call them. It's the same kind. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one, but it's a, it's pretty close. Uh, rubber tires, nice smooth ride. Doors open up as you can see. Alternators are uh, super detailed. They have steering wheel, uh, stick shifts, gear changer stuff, stuff like that, you know. Seats, everything. It's, yeah, they've got everything. They've got engines, they've got trunks that open up halfway. So yeah, they're uh, they're they're pretty detailed. I love them. The only problem with them is they are hard to transform. Optimus Prime was a bitch. I can I can get him back into uh, truck mode for the longest time. But uh, so uh, smoke screen. There you go. Okay, this is going to be probably the worst transformation because, in my opinion, he's the hardest. Why am I doing it? Anyway, um, what you want to do is you want to uh, open the doors just like that. Um, yeah, you want to open a bunch of stuff just to get started. Okay, anyone who wants to transform this, don't follow this review. It's it's. <laughs> I'm going to get everything wrong. Just watch it for the fun of it. Okay, what you want to do is you fold the seats down to lock that into place. I think that's going to be his chest piece. Okay, then you detach the roof from the back and you want to pull the legs down. Just like that. There you go. There you go. Just like that. So far, so good. Alright. No, that's not, not, not yet. Oh, yes. Fold this up right here, lock it into place, and pull his legs down. Just like that. There we go, and then you'll be able to put his feet in place, and they'll be out of the way. Yay! Okay. Anyway. Now you can fold this roof up just like that. See? There you go. Everything goes into place. Everything goes when you want it to. Okay, let's see here. What you want to do is open the hood up, and yeah, take his gun out. See that? That's his gun. Okay, then you want to fold his arms out. You want to you want to fold his arms out eventually, just like that. And now this is a tricky part. I've never figured out how to do this without pulling one of his arms off. What you want to do is you want to get this part over up here. You want to, you know, turn it to where this part is facing up. And, uh, and I did it. <clears throat> I did it on the review. Hey, yes, I'm awesome. Okay, now this one, the same sweet. Got it. Yep, that's how you do it. All right, and then you fold this head down. And probably want to have it at a certain angle so it'll, it'll uh, Pop, there we go. That just pops right up. 
See that? You twist his hip around, pull his bumper out to reveal his feet, and I know I'm forgetting something. I know I'm forgetting something. Here we go. Lock everything into place. There, just like that. Just like that. And his his hands are almost articulated. He has um, his index finger moves, and then that's it. So maybe they're not full, almost, not even close. What am I talking about? There we go. So there's smoke screen. Um, yeah, he looks uh, he looks pretty good. I like him. I don't I didn't collect too many alternators because a lot of them were repaints and a lot of them didn't really I don't know they didn't appeal to me. Hmm. So there you go, alternator smoke screen. Um. Yeah, well, not much, not much to say about him. Uh, so I guess I'll stop talking now and stop boring the hell out of you guys. Anyway, you guys have a great day now. See you later.